Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, I'm gonna to talk about my Logitech Harmony One remote that I purchased off of Shop Goodwill several years ago. Uh, I had been in the market for a long time before buying this uh, to get an actual universal remote that would control all my devices that I had here in my home theater. Uh, I had gone the route of some of the ones at Walmart and they just didn't cut it. Uh, they didn't have functionality for enough devices and uh, just didn't work out for me. So I had tried a bunch over the years and then just returned them. And I had really wanted to get a remote like this, a higher quality universal remote that I could program and actually get to work with everything. And I had seen prices on these Logitech Harmony units, uh, both new and used over the years, and I never really found a deal that I felt was worth it. Basically, once I found the Shop Goodwill website, I found some listings you know, over my time there for these Logitech remotes. And this one I was able to get, it came with the remote as well as the charging station, which I have right over here on my little uh, stand. And I only paid, I believe it was 20 or $30 uh, for this. Now I can't get the exact price uh, from what I understand because the Shop Goodwill listings in your purchase history only go back like six months. So anything past that, you're not able to really look up. If my memory serves me correctly, I only paid 20 or $30 for this, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, you can find these Logitech Harmony One remotes around online. Um, I've, I've seen them for like $30, $40 floating around online. And I have to say, I, I'm pretty sure these are discontinued. I don't think they make these anymore. But uh, this unit, I don't think this is the highest quality unit that they have made over the years. But this one actually works really well. And in all the different devices I've tried to connect to it over the two or three years that I've owned it, uh, only one item ever gave me some trouble, and that was my null projector, uh, because null systems isn't in the database for Logitech, uh, but playing around with like Vivitech and then Planar, which are the two other kind of projector models that the null systems projectors were basically based off of, I was able to actually find uh, a remote code that worked through the database for a Planar projector that actually operates my null projector I have here. And what's cool about these, if you're not aware, this hooks up via a USB cable, micro USB, it's one of the old school ones. And you plug it into your computer, you've got to download an app and, you know, log into the remote essentially and register it. And then you get an entire database where you can search uh, just by typing in what kind of product you have and what you're wanting to control. And it'll give you the specific product or, or it'll give you similar items if it doesn't have that specific model number in there. And then essentially you program them into the remote uh, like this one. And I might be able to zoom in, I might not, but you can go through, you know, and you'll see all these different things on here that you can have linked on the device. And then you click each one and then operate you know your stuff with it yeah so you just go on there you download it and then if you don't need it you plug it back in and you can delete uh, the items off there the one thing i don't like about this unit uh, and they may have changed it because this one is from i think the early to mid 2010s so it's about 10 years old uh, this one doesn't allow you to rearrange the menu when you have devices on here just by you know prioritizing you know number one number two number three and so on you literally have to delete the device off and reinstall it in the order that you want your screen to look like which you know i had to do a couple times to try and put you know like my projector the receiver and then you know kind of the components in order that they're on my receiver you know for my 4k player blu-ray player whatever uh, so that kind of caused a little bit of hassle, you know, not being, being able to just load them all and then just click, you know, option one, option two, option three, or a drag and drop. But, uh, you know, it works for what it is. And this remote is also kind of cool. It's motion activated, uh, where if you let it sit idle and then pick it up, the screen will come up on here. 
Uh, you can also change the dimming functions on here so it's brighter or dimmer. It can add a date, add a time. It also shows the battery level up there with which this one for being like 10 years old holds a pretty decent charge. Uh, normally I can get a couple days of it just sitting on my, you know, coffee table down here without plugging it in on the stand to work. Uh, which speaking of that, the charging stand that's here, it lays flat in there like this. And the way these sensors up here, the charging sensors are set up, you have to kind of fiddle with it to get it to lie in there perfectly. Uh, and it'll show a charging screen when it's actually seated properly. I have noticed just probably cause this is older and however much wear is actually on this unit from before uh, me purchasing it. You have to fiddle sometimes to get it to actually lay correctly against those sensors to charge. There had been times where I just kind of sat it in there and didn't pay attention and it never charged and then the remote was dead uh, because it just sat there in the cradle and didn't actually charge. But, you know, again, for what I paid for it, uh, the fact that I bought this off a of shop Goodwill and it was in pretty much immaculate condition. The only thing I had to do on the back kind of right here they had taped uh, it together to the, the stand and taped the charger to it. So there was tape residue that was up here. Um, but other than that, you know, I just kind of cleaned that off and yeah, everything works. I've never had a single issue with this since I've had it. Uh, hopefully that doesn't come in to bite me because I said that about a Blu-ray player I bought in one of my earlier videos. And as soon as I said that, it started giving me problems. Um, but coincidentally, I did find I didn't buy it, but I did actually find this out in the wild in a thrift store. Actually, to, just today, uh, earlier today, I was out at a local thrift store uh, a couple towns over from where I live, and they had a Logitech Harmony One, same exact remote as this, plus two charging like cradles uh, for thirty dollars, which actually isn't a bad deal, considering most of the time when you find these online, they're around thirty dollars with a single charging cradle. So I guess having two of them, so you could maybe put it in two different places in your theater or your living room, and you know, so you could have two spots to charge it if that really, you know, uh, interested you, or you could even sell the second one, I guess, and make a little money back on it. But uh, yeah, so these are out there. You can find them. Like I said, these aren't the highest level remote that Logitech has made um, that I'm aware of. You know, this is probably more of a lower to mid-level remote, but for what I've used it for, I've never had a single issue. And it's a nice thing to have so when I buy other components, you know, if I was to buy a new Blu-ray player or a new 4K player or uh, like my HD DVD players on here as well, an older piece of equipment, or, you know, maybe like a Laserdisc player, like I've talked about in some of my other videos down the road, I should be able to find a compatible product in this database to use this remote. So I shouldn't have to go and buy a standalone remote for some of these things. Now, granted, like on a Laserdisc player, for example, a lot of them on their remotes have a rotary knob to allow you to scroll back and forth on the image. I obviously wouldn't be able to do that with this remote, but all the basic functionality, you know, on, off, play, pause, menu, all that sort of stuff is gonna be on here. And like I said, I've never had a single issue with it, except for having to find the correct kind of corresponding code for that null projector that I have. Uh, but that's kind of an odd brand and kind of a weird, situation but any major product that i've looked up has been in the database and it's worked flawlessly so definitely if you're looking for something like this look for one of these logitech harmony ones they're like i said i don't believe manufactured new anymore but you can find them used on ebay and different websites you know for under 50 dollars, which i think is definitely a good bargain especially if you can get down closer to 20 or 30 it's a really good bargain so with that, I just want to make a little video on this remote, and uh, like I always do, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's watched my content, uh, who's liked and subscribed. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.